Welcome back everybody, the little reef. Today I am going to do some water tests. So uh, I'm only using the API master test kit at the moment. I need to get a uh, calcium, magnesium uh, and KH test kit. Um, but I haven't got them yet, so the, these are the four we're doing. Um, my cycle should have completed now, so hoping to see no ammonia, no nitrite, little bit of nitrate um, with my pH around 8.1, 8.2-ish but I have got potentially a little bit of a bloom of some description going on in the tank which I will show in a little while um, so we're going to do all four water tests just to keep my eye on everything so I know exactly where we are and what's going on so we've got our four test tubes my Nurofen syringe um, I'm going to put 5ml of water in each test tube and then I'll talk you through the four tests of what we have to do. There we go. So we've got 5ml in each. Um, I'm going to put the lid on three of these quickly just so I can do one at a time and not spill it. Okay, so first we're going to do high range pH. So for this one, you just need to do five drops of the solution uh, from a vertical position straight into the water, like so. Now on pH, we don't shake this one, so just put the lid on, invert the bottle a few times to make sure it mixes nicely. And then leave that for five minutes to set. Now we'll do ammonia. So, same again. This time we've got two bottles. So, for, it's eight drips from each bottle. Vertical again, but we shake this time after both are in. Eight. This one we have to vigorously shake for a few seconds to get it to mix. And again, five minutes. Now we'll do nitrite. This one's five drips for the nitrite. So again, one, two, three, four, five. It on vigorously shake five minutes. Now the last one we're gonna do is our nitrate. Now this one's a bit of a pain in the ass, it takes a while. So first bottle is simple, just open ten drips. Like so, so we've got our 10, put the lid on, I always just put the lid on, just invert it a couple of times, don't actually need to but I do. Now the second one's the pain, so what we have to do now on the second bottle for the nitrate is you have to shake the bottle for 30 seconds um, and then we add 10 drops and then we have to shake the test tube for a minute vigorously, so um, time lapse. So we shook for 30 seconds, now we do 10 drops, like so, now I'm going to wrap it in my tea towel because it goes everywhere, shake for a minute. <laughs> Now 
Okay. And again, five minutes. So we're going to leave all four of these to sit. I always like to give it a tiny bit longer than five minutes just to make sure the vet ones are fully developed. But there we go. We will come back with the results in a moment. So the final stages, we'll have a little look at the results. I think we're looking pretty good at a glance, but what I'll do is pick the camera up. So first we've got our high range pH. It's probably a little low if anything, maybe around 8. Could do with that coming up a little bit. So we're looking at 8 on the pH. I will show you all the good, the bad and the ugly with the tank. So, come along for the journey. Ammonia. I think it looks like ammonia. The camera's not really showing the best colour, but uh, I think in person ammonia we're looking at zero. The next one which is a little bit interesting is the nitrite so I think we're showing about 0.25 of nitrite but no ammonia and we've got nitrate so I think that bloom is possibly a nitrite bloom um, long story short we put Dory the blue tang in the tank and I think the added bio load from the waste of her eating um, in the tank and so on is then causing ammonia the ammonia has then been dealt with by the nitrite but I think the nitrite colony is maybe increasing in size um, feel free to add in the comments if I'm right or wrong or what your thoughts are but I think that's possibly what's happening that's why we've now got no ammonia but we've got the nitrite because that's being dealt with and then finally we've got our nitrate now, I would say we're probably at about 10 parts per million on nitrate. So again, that has come up. We was in between 0 and 5, 4 or 5 days ago. Um, so we will monitor this and keep an eye on the tank, see what happens. I think we're okay for now, the fish seem okay. Algae seems to be a lot better under control. Um, so that is the how-to on the API saltwater master test kit. And there we have the tank. You can kind of see there in the water um, the bloom that we're having so the water's normally crystal clear but you can see there that we've got a bit of a a bacteria bloom of some description on the go but sounds looking a lot better still not perfect but it's looking good had a random zoa head come off my colony that was floating around in the tank so uh, put that on a plug just to see if anything will grow or Little experiment, see what happens. Never normally catch my grandma, it's always hiding. for me starting to settle into the tank now being a little bit less shy
There we go, so there's a quick tank update, fish, API test kit, results, and so on. Come back for more, um, we'll keep you regularly updated on the tank, progress, and what happens with the bloom, the fish, uh, new additions, we've got some plans for coral and so on, but I need to get, get this all under control and keep my eye on the tank for a little while before we make any more changes now, but um, thanks for tuning in, the little reef. Like, comment and subscribe for more. We'll see you soon.